my beautiful people welcome to my cooking channel how are you guys doing happy Sunday it's Sunday happy Sunday to everyone I haven't been here for like a week but we are cooking today we are going to be cooking for our family I am thinking of cooking uh, fried rice and chicken and beef so yeah come along with me if you're new here my name is Abby this is my cooking channel this is like Sunday life in my life or Sunday in my life sorry Sunday in my life this is usually what I like to do when I have the time okay I'm a mom I'm a busy mom so I don't really get this opportunity sometimes to cook um, I haven't been really cooking here because I'm not balanced yet like I barely have protein in my freezer um, we find a place that we usually buy protein here in Whitby but I'm not really satisfied with everything they have they don't have everything I want so which means I just buy the beef and chicken and shaki all of that there's no really like smoked turkey there's no varieties there's no fish so I'm gonna be back again going back to the west you know take you guys with me shop with me grocery shopping African grocery shopping I'm gonna be doing all of that again because this isn't for me like my where I buy the beef currently um, or the African grocery they don't have what I want so when I go to the West in Toronto I see everything there I buy everything for the whole month I do a haul for you guys so that's what I'm gonna be doing probably this I don't know Sha. it's not gonna be this week because this week is Eid already so I'm going to order food from someone to like help me cook we'll see Sha. We'll see but yeah if you're new to my channel welcome uh, please subscribe I'm begging you I'm pleading with you please subscribe and thumbs up I do cooking on here I do cleaning I do grocery haul shop with me um, decorate with me mommy's lifestyle with me on here I also have a vlog channel which is Abby and family please subscribe thumbs up I also have a beautiful African clothing shop I have jewelry collections collections if you want to see if you're looking to buy beautiful gold um, auto gele shoes laces Ankara Ankara sequins um, you know clovers like uh, the clovers this one I'm wearing the black one right here I don't even know what it is, this one right here you know we have them I'll just do like a little you know on the side here yeah, let me move this side so you guys will be able to see it on the side quickly what I sell so please support my business my website also available my whatsapp also available if you want to order we ship worldwide so yeah today I am going to be cooking um, chicken my son just helped me brought this out from the freezer I have meat already out for a couple days you guys so hey you guys will say Abby this addiction is not good I bought pot again my my kids were like mommy we have lots of pots why are you buying pots so I'm gonna be disposable I'm gonna be this is it disposing yeah I'm gonna be disposing some <laughs> I'm gonna be disposing some but this one is just really beautiful for the summer the color it's absolutely very beautiful so I'm gonna be using this pot today to cook my I don't even know what I'm gonna cook there and then my fried rice because this one pot if I cook this tiny pot for fried rice my son can finish it in two days I have a big son so I'll, I think I'll just mix two here and I'll make fried rice in a big pot so that's what I'm gonna do so join me and cook about kind of like a warm pan and fry pan as well so Oh, 
So I am going to be cooking. I have chicken. I have goat meat here. I am going to be cutting some onions in it. Um, I just want to do it this way. I don't have time to, do, to be getting cutting board and cutting onions. So this is the fastest way. Okay. There's no really, um, the onions has to be uniform. Just cut it. Everything is going to cook together. Everything is going inside one stomach. So yeah. Um, and when I cook in my goat meat, I like a lot of onions. In fact, everything. I love onions. I'm going to use everything. Unless if I don't have onions in the house, then I won't use a lot. But when I have it, I use it a lot. So I'm going to just spread it like that. No, I'm going to add some salt, okay? This is how I add my salt. I know some people be like, ah, it's too much, Abby. You're adding too much. No, I know exactly what I need. I don't need too much salt, okay? Because it's goat meat and it's hard chicken. You need enough salt so it can penetrate inside. Otherwise, I like to use my hand as well for the seasoning. Trust me, I'm from Nigeria. A lot of Nigerians can relate back home like this. This is how we do our thing, eh? This is how we do our thing. <laughs> so, I'm gonna add water. Oh, we even rinse our hand inside of it. My hand is not dirty, okay? That doesn't mean we are dirty. That's how we cook. I'm gonna turn on my fans. I like to add enough water. Sorry about my fan, because my fan needs to be on when I'm cooking. All right, so, and I return on my stove. After I finish cooking, I need to clean my stove. My stove is really, really dirty. So, okay, so what I realized is all this seasoning, it comes with ginger, like ginger, blended ginger. So I don't need to add fresh ginger in my cooking. I love fresh ginger and garlic in my cooking, but because it's already added, so my goat meat is going to cook for about an hour, 40 minutes. And that's why it can always take long because of the goat chicken and the uh, chicken. I need it to be tender. So it's still morning. I know some of you guys are like, Abby, why didn't you do your hair? You guys, I just want my hair to rest too. Because I've been on braids for the past four months. And I took out my braids or twisty, we'll call it, for the past four months. And I just want my hair to rest. So I've been just putting my hair in ponytail so please it's not like I don't want to do my hair all right I was about to say something and I forgot but anyway you guys um oh yeah it's still morning well afternoon it's past 12 right now my husband to go to work at 3 so with my son they work at the same place I'm trying to cook this before they go to work I'm trying to achieve everything my girls Leila Malika the 10 year old and Malika is almost nine they are doing spring cleaning in their room so they are upset they have not had breakfast they are not hungry so i'm not gonna force them but i'm gonna be making them breakfast so i know when they come down they're gonna be really really hungry so i'm going to also be making breakfast slash brunch because it's past 12. they are not hungry at all on the weekend they go to bed late and they eat watch a movie eat snacks like it's about 1 a.m so it's sunday today so i'm going to try to make them breakfast at 12. My baby is in the swing right there in the living room. I have an eight months baby. It's my old baby, if you don't know, if you know it here. So house is full, our house is full and we love it. It's loving, it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm going to right now start making breakfast for the girls. All right, so I'm checking on my meat. I know you guys will be like, Abby, how come you're not parboiling it and throw the water out? Because I washed it with vinegar. <clears throat> when I finish rinsing it, I usually add vinegar and Vinegar just cleans it out so I don't have to like parboil it. When I don't have vinegar in the house, that's when I parboil it and throw out the water. So if you come closer to me now, the water is super clean, like very, very clean. It's not like black and dirty with, um, with blood. It's because I parboil it with, uh, sorry, I clean it with vinegar. <laughs> Oh, 
some peppers that are more cheaper than these big ones. These big ones are very very expensive and I don't like to buy them and keep them in the freezer because to be honest I don't have a bigger freezer. If my freezer was big yes I would do it. But what I found is these small ones they comes in they comes in this bag and you can buy the ones that has more red in it and the other colors my kids just eat it and take it as a snack to school so anyway and they are more cheaper and I like how rich they have this one they always feel like plastic but these ones are like really really red so anyway I like to buy those one I buy like couple bags when they're on sales they're about two dollars each so I just buy a couple and put them in my fridge my kids really love to snack on them so I also use them to cook um, steel in Nigeria, we love our stew so much because we call it multi-purpose stew, uh, soup. Because it literally you can eat it with anything when you make soup like this in the house. I know it's different from like the Caribbeans, Jamaicans, uh, even like the Americans. Their soup here is like soup that you drink. Ours is what we use to like eat everything. You can use it to eat bread. Uh, you can use it to eat fufu, rice, beans, yam, anything literally anything and we add protein in it so good so that's this that's the soup that we know as a as a soup we have pepper soup too we have pepper soup but that one is not it's like it's like the one you guys call soup the i'm talking about the caribbeans and the jamaicans and the americans and everyone else so the pepper soup is liquidy and you can drink it so we have that too, but ours is always very, very spicy. So we call it pepper soup. So anyway, you guys, I'm just cutting this down. I'm gonna add my tomato. I don't use fresh tomato if you follow me from a long time. I use canned tomato and I like to use the unico or pasta tomato. So and I also cut my onions. This is the unico that I use right here. And I'm going to open it. My can opener is the best. <laughs> It's like the best. It just makes my life easier. Honestly, if you invest in can opener, just invest in this one. I got mine from Walmart and it's so good. I just play with it and just keep rolling it. And then when it's done, I just use this two side, clip it on the side and press this black thing down and open it. Just like that. Very, very nice. It's like so relaxing to do. I don't know, it's one of my favorite things in the kitchen and I just add it into my stuff here. And I just scrape it out. Just make sure it's nice and scraped out. And then just add it there. That's it. Alright, so I'm gonna add my scotch pepper, that's what it looks like. I'm adding three. Slowly my kids are liking spicy food, slowly. So before I, I started with one, when they were little, two, now three. So, and these scotch peppers are very spicy. So, I need a little more water. So my son is sleeping now, as you can see. He's sleeping, so I'm not gonna blend this now, I'm gonna blend it after when I wake up. Because the blender is going to wake him. 
they say, Abby, put the baby down, he's sleeping. They know there's some babies that when you put them down, they won't sleep deep. But when you put them in your back, that's when they sleep deep. That's my son. Like sometimes he will sleep on the couch, but he will only sleep for like 10, 15 minutes. So I'll be rushing back to him again to like pet him. So when I put him in my back, he can sleep for two hours. I can get a lot of things done without even, you know, he will sleep deep. And when he wake up, he's very, you know, renewed. He wants to play. So I just put him down. So, you know, babies are different. I know some of you guys always say, put him down, put him down. Trust me, not all babies can stay down and sleep. Okay? Not all of them. Some of them, they love it this African way. Just back them and they sleep for a long time. So, yeah. Okay, I'm also going to be doing cleaning after I finish cooking. I already made a uh, brunch for the girls. I'm going to be cleaning, which I'm going to carry you guys along because my stove is really dirty and I really want to go like, deep clean my stove. Tomorrow is Monday, back to work, even though I don't go to work, but I work from home. I need to package lots of orders for eat. So please um, support our business. So I need to like get my house ready for the week. So yeah, just washing. When I'm cooking fried rice like this, I like to even the love rice. I wash it like five or six, seven times with hot water just to get all the starch out. I'm going to season it a little bit. And I'm also going to be adding spice. Uh, the chili pepper, it's actually chili. I'm going to add some in here because I want it spicy. Mm -hmm. I sent from Nigeria, like all my seasonings and stuff. They sent from Nigeria. I am still going to add more um, uh, fried rice seasoning. This is crayfish. If you want, if you're in abroad, can you keep it down? If you're here, you need someone. If you're in abroad, Canada, US, America, anywhere, Australia, you need a personal shopper to buy anything for you in Nigeria. I have a personal shopper that shop for me, but my mom is old. She's getting older and they just have all the energy like before. So I have somebody who is professional, who can shop for you. She buy me everything I need in Nigeria and she ship it down here. I'll leave her number on the screen so you guys can contact her. Her name is Fasima, personal shopper. She can get you everything that you need in Nigeria. I'm gonna be using these. Like I said, my personal shopper buy all these things because when you buy them from here, they're just ridiculously expensive. So I just have someone that buy them. So this is spice, um, spicy city, fried rice jello fried, sorry. Fried dry seasoning. So I'm just gonna add it. It's gonna give it a uh, color. I just like it. So I don't think I need more than that. Too much, as you can see. And I am going to, sorry, add few onions in it. Just few onions. I'm just gonna let that fry for a little bit. This is the same way I cook my stew all the time. When I'm cooking my stew, I like this method. I like the onions to release its flavor in the oil, like that. I'm going to season this. I know my rice is done. I just, I need to cover it like so. I'm seasoning with my seasoning right here. I love my crayfish in my food. It's so delicious, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so I am going to be adding my protein now, right here. I 
Alright, so slowly, I'm not done cooking. I'm not done cooking, but slowly I'm gonna start loading my dishwasher. So my work is not so hard in the end. So guys my stove this is my stove this is disgusting but I am gonna plan into the spotless like I cannot leave my stove like this ever ever otherwise I'll go into depression so I'm gonna clean the whole thing the whole wall everywhere needs to be nice and tidy the whole counter so I'm gonna put the camera down this is my scent Yeah, 
All right, you guys, I want to show you guys my food. This is my fried rice right here. And this is my stew. And yeah, that is it. All right, finally, I'm done, you guys. I'm finally done. Oh my goodness, I'm going to go eat with my kids. I want to end this vlog now because it took me like four hours. Even though it's, it's two that you're looking at, it's two foods I made. It took me four hours with my baby back and forth, cleaning and organizing and just, you guys know how it is. It's, it's not easy at all, especially when you have a newborn, like a baby. So yeah, anyway, I want to end the vlog. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, for always coming here to support my channel. If you're new here or you've been watching without subscribing, Please, I hope this video motivate you to subscribe and thumbs up. And yeah, I love you guys. I will catch you guys again. Bye.